Hey everybody, how are you doing on this fine Sunday afternoon? I hope you're all doing well. Late season starting to wrap up here in Iowa. Congratulations to P. Vitti. He shot a nice buck. Congratulations, Phil. Always happy for you. Uh, hey, I'm already, I'm almost 98% from recovering from COVID. So I've, uh, like I told you on the radio show the other day, I've already kind of flipped the switch to turkey season. And what I thought what I'm going to do this spring is I'm going to do a couple series on turkeys and turkey calls. And I thought I'd just do a little sample for you today. And uh, I hope everyone's doing great today. Thanks for everybody that's watching. So, and I'm not doing it so much as a product push. You know, I mean, that's our job. That's We're there to communicate, communicate about good products at work, right? But, you know, I think it's more important to teach about what call does what, why you want to have that in your pack or your turkey vest, and you know what you can expect in a hunting situation. So that's kind of the philosophy or the the direction where I'm going to go with these turkey tips. Hey, Bill Strike, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. So um, I'll be rolling these out, uh, Larry. I talked to Larry Mack, and Larry Mack's going to help me with that. Uh, we'll probably start taping those here in a few weeks. But I'm going to do just, just just do a sample one today for you, okay? Because I know I got a lot of buddies out here that like to turkey hunt, and uh, I, I man, you know me. That's one of my favorite things to bow hunt, and I uh, I got a little redemption coming in 23 after I only shot one last year, so I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm gonna try and hunt Missouri, Iowa, and Kansas. Those are gonna be my three states uh, for turkeys this year. Might do one more, but uh, we'll see. With me doing so many radio shows a week now, I'm up to five or six shows a week now with the Outdoor Call Radio app. Um, it's kind of hard for me to get away, but uh, we're gonna try to get at it. So. Today I'm going to talk about a box call. I've got a wonderful uh, Rupert's Roost in Peace box call right here from my buddy Todd Rupert out there in Pennsylvania. And uh, just a real quick tip on this, okay? No other call, mouth call, friction call, no other call travels in the woods. Hi, Pam. How you doing? Hey, Parker Miller. What's up? Travels farther in the woods than a box call. It is very important that you carry a box call with you at all times, especially on windy days and on uh, as the spring starts to progress. You know, when we first start hunting, a lot of times the woods are what? They're wide open. There's no there's no foliage on the trees. There's nothing to knock that sound down. Your sound can carry with a mouth call or a friction call. But as the spring starts progressing and we start getting all the buds and the tree and the leaves sprouting and get that foliage then what, the, what does that do? It knocks that sound down. Wind does the same thing. If you got a lot of wind coming, it'll knock that call down. No other call performs better in the woods than a box call. And I, I love box calls because it's if you're just starting out, if you're going with a couple buddies, hey, Ken, how you doing, bud? If you're going out with some buddies and they, they're not really proficient or this is your first time going, the box call is one of the easiest calls to master. It really is. All you got to do is just take your paddle and just do basic yelps. You can cut, you can just yelp, just do two or three notes. And trust me, if that Tom's out there, he's going to hear it. Hey Tom, Tony, Tom, what's going on buds? Good to see you guys, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing turkey calls, that's what I'm up to. So this spring, make sure that you carry a box call with you. Yeah, I'm telling you, it can make or break your hunt, it really can now, I don't have it with me right now, but one other call that I did not carry last year that would have made a difference for me in the woods, especially Kansas. Hey, Blaze, Blaze, what's going on, bro? Good to see you. One call that I, I went to Kansas three times last year. I have never in 20 years of hunting had to go to Kansas on, and not get a shot. Never happened. So I was due, I guess, right? And I, it, they humbled me. They really did. They really knocked my they knocked my tail out. Is what they did. But uh, if I would have had a gobble call, I really think I could have got the. I had toms all around me. They were just so hinned up. I could get the hens in. I could get Jake's in. I just couldn't get the strutters. If I would have had that gobble call and done some gobble challenges, I think that would have made a difference. And I will be carrying a gobble call this year for those kind of for specifically for those kinds of uh, situations. So anyway, I, these are going to be short and sweet. They're not going to be very long. 
I just want to get some educational stuff out there. And uh, if you got any questions or you got something you want me to cover on these turkey tips, just uh, private message me or email me at outdoorsdan at mac.com. And I'll, I'll make sure we cover it uh, this spring. So I'll, I'll start rolling these out here in a couple weeks. And we're going to have a lot of fun with them. They're going to be interactive. And hopefully you get to learn some tips. I've been bow hunting 34 years. And I learn something every year from Larry or Philip or somebody, whoever we're hunting with in camp. You can always learn and be a better hunter. And uh, we all like to eat, right? That's why I hunt. I hunt to eat. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm so fat. But anyway... So uh, thanks to Todd Rupert for uh, the box call. I, I can't wait to get this out there rolling. And I look forward to sharing some turkey tips with you here in a few weeks. Have a wonderful week ahead. we got a big week on, on the radio app, on the Outdoor Call radio app. we got uh, the Crappie Connection running for its second show. That starts on Tuesday. Uh, we got new shows from Pure Whitetail. Sick for the Hunt is starting. And uh, that I moved them to Thursdays. So Sick for the Hunt will be on Thursdays. Uh, hey, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, the, it, you know what? I really am impressed with Roost in Peace. I, I really, I think Todd Rupert, Rupert's Roost in Peace turkey calls. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with them. They're, they're really good calls. So, um, get out there and have fun this spring. If uh, you get a chance, take the Outdoor Call Radio app with you. I got a couple more shows coming on, and I'll tell you about that. The, if you like Bigfoot and ghosts and UFOs and all that, the Unknown Files. It starts Wednesday night at seven. I hope you tune in for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. But Anyway, we'll talk about Bigfoot turkeys, too, because there's some Bigfoot turkeys strutting around out there as well. Have a great Sunday. I'll talk to you soon. If you need anything, please let me know. Until then, God bless you. See you, everybody. Turkey it up. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs>